I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. This exercise focuses on the Charleston. It's a big part of the game, and if you make the right decisions at the right time, it can really set you up for success in the next phase of the game. I try to have four discards or fewer after the Charleston. If you have a set at home, give this exercise a try. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles are out. They've been mixed. We're just going to say we're the dealer for these. So I'm going to get 14 random tiles each time and then we'll create a mock Charleston. There's our mock Charleston. These will simulate our drawn hand. Let's see what we can do. We should play a year hand because we've got white dragons and we have a two and an eight. As an option, maybe we could play consecutive run with dragons. If we're playing a year hand, maybe we could keep the eight just in case we get other options. Let's pass those three. Even odd dragon. That's a pretty good pass. If you get a joker, just exchange it. There's a flower and a two. So here we need to make a choice. I think since we have two eight, two eight, let's go ahead and give up the three. But this, that's really risky. I think we should pick. We have flowers here. There are two hands under the year that use flowers. The second one down and the third one down. 2018. Let's go ahead and just break this up with a south. Because if we play news with 2018, we'd have to give away a pair of flowers. Let's pass these three. We can pass these. There's a two and an eight. And we have tiles we can pass. We don't have to make a choice yet. Now there is one thing we could maybe consider two, four, six, eight with flowers as an option. Flower, two, four, six, eight. You can't, the, the four though is a pair. We can't use a joker with a pair. So we would have a gap and then we would use the joker here. I think I'd rather keep my options open and play a year. Let's pass these three. Anytime you have a gap, lower the priority in the decision making. Okay, we got a one and a two and a one. Okay, now we have to make a choice. But look what we have here. One, two, one, two. Like numbers with twos. I still think we could maybe play a year hand. This would be probably the third hand down. We're one away from being set. Let's go ahead and risk passing this. That's pretty risky being all year tiles. Okay, we have discards here. 2018. I think I want to keep this one though. We could do something consecutive still, even with the dragon. One, two, dragon. One, two, dragon, joker bait. We're on last right. 
2018. Let's focus on 2018 and discard these three. There's an eight. We really don't need pairs there. Let's pass these three for optional cross. Oh, look what we got back. Wow. Let's see. I think I would stick with the second hand or third hand down. All we need is really another flower or a joker. We can Kong here, Kong here draw in a flower or a joker, use this as joker bait. So we have four discards, which is my goal. Four discards, including joker bait, which is a bonus. Let's do this again. Pair of nines, northeast pair of nines. This is where the strength is going to be. We need to gather all the tiles that can support that nine. What about addition? Nine, three, twelve, addition. Or nine, three, twelve, we have a gap with no three. We could do three, six, nine, maybe. Seven, eight, consecutive run. So by process of elimination, all these tiles can support the nine. Let's discard these three. Even odd wind. That's pretty good. We got a two, nine, Two, three, four, six, maybe three, six, nine. I don't think we need this two. Nine, three, twelve, nine. We need a, we don't need this two. Let's pass these three. Okay, there's a two. Huh, we don't need that. Here's a three though. Three dot. Okay, now we have to decide. Let's give up these consecutive numbers. We could do either three, six, nine. We have one, one, two, three, four, five, and maybe the flower. Or we can do addition nine, three, twelve, nine, three, or nine, three, twelve. Let's discard these. Okay, we got a one, one, two, nine, three, twelve, or like numbers with not like numbers. Hmm, three, six, nine, maybe. And that could be joker bait. Let's pass these three. There's a nine. Three, six, nine is looking pretty strong at this point. We could still do nine, three, twelve addition or three, six, nine. Let's break up the pair in case we get keepers. Flower. 
West 7, 2. That's a pretty good pass. Even, odd, wind, different suits. Ooh, 6, 3. I think we should play 3, 6, 9. 3, 6, 9. We have tiles we can pass right here. It's a little risky being all year tiles, but we need some help here. No keeper. Oh, we got a 12 back though. Wrong suit. If we had a three bam, it might be helpful. Or we could do consecutive run. I would discard those first. Let's see if there's a three, six, nine that we could do here. Three, six, nine mixed suit Kongs. That would be the fourth hand down on the right. I wouldn't pick a hand yet though. I would wait till I get rid of my discards and gather three, six, nine. We could even maybe play a pair hand if we get the six crack and the three bam. Fill in those gaps. I think this turned out pretty good for three, six, nine, four discards for the category. We're gonna do this one more time. Okay, we have a pair of sevens and a pair of ones. Those don't go together. So we need to pick whatever we have the most of to support one of these multiples. Let's count consecutive run. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Versus ones and twos. One, two, three, four, five. Clearly, we need to play consecutive run. Six, seven, eight, nine. Maybe the red can help. Let's go ahead and discard let's see let's discard one, two mm, I want to break up this pair so we're not stuck with it Either way, we're going to have either like numbers or a pair. Let's break up the pair. So we got a pair of reds now, red dragon. Maybe like numbers with sevens and dragons. So let's pass these three. There's a green dragon. And we have tiles we can pass. Oh wait, this nine. Seven, eight, nine, red. Let's pass these three. Flower, keep it. Now we have to decide. Six. Let's do seven, eight, nine and give up the six. Because we could still do like numbers with sevens and dragons. There's an eight and a dragon. We have one discard. Now we have to pick a hand. I'm thinking we should do like numbers with sevens. That would use both of these. Maybe keep the eight because we could maybe do seven, eight, nine with reds. That would be the consecutive run hand, second from the bottom. Oh, we want to keep that. We'll give up that. There we go. So, like numbers with sevens. Let's discard these three. 
There's a seven. I think with that pung there, seven, maybe like numbers with sevens here. We have one flower, singles. Let's give ourselves options for the like number with sevens and dragons and discard these three. Options are a good thing. If you get a joker, just exchange it. Okay, we've got joker bait. Or break it up and do a full pass. I think that's what I would do. Full pass. I don't know if there's anything in here. I don't remember. Did we pass a dragon? I don't think so. No keepers. Probably four or five discards, but we've got options here. I think I would probably play like numbers with sevens and dragons. Hold that for as long as possible in case maybe this hand pairs up. So we've got options for discards. Two out of three ain't bad. The last one, kind of a lot of discards, but there were no gaps and options. I would have felt pretty confident going into the pick and discard phase of the game. Give this exercise a try and see if it helps your confidence. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do, so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston modeling for American Mahjong, using National Mahjong League rules. May all your picks be keepers.